hi guys welcome to my channel i wish everyone happy and healthy today i have a report with me this plan is synapsus pectus exotica it's been in the 50 centimeters nose ball and i'm gonna update to this a bigger pot i know i don't have to make it as big but in the near future i'm gonna change this with these 100 centimeters pole so i think it will be more appropriate So let's begin mixing some of the ingredients. I'm going to use the cocoa pit. This is my main uh, soil mixture for almost all my plants. Pumice, if you don't have one, you can use a perlite. It's also fine with me, but I prefer pumice because perlite tend to came to the surface over time, which pumice doesn't do that. Since I have the smaller one first, I'm just going to use this one, which is completely fine. And this is my secret ingredients, which is dried bamboo leaves atau daun bambu kering. This is Kali just checking in what's going on. Of course, she has to know everything I do, which is cute. I'm here very generous with dried bamboo leaves because in my experience with this type of plants, they really love growing in dried bamboo leaves. I'm going to grab my natural fertilizer. Bagheera is passing, also checking in. I'm using natural fertilizer here, which is a goat poop. Here I'm using Furada. This is just because I'm using a goat poop for this mixture. I don't use this all the time. This is actually the first time I'm using it. I prefer not to give my plan any sort of chemical keep you updated whether i like it or not so bear with me this method is what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna break this old pot because this way i will have minimal damage of disturbing the roots due to the fact that synaptus pictus in my experience is not coping with transplanting very well So here I actually keep the existing soil mixture because it's still good. I'm just gonna adding up some more. This way I don't disturb the root system that much and as you can see the root system is healthy. You can see these white roots in the bottom. It's very very healthy. Now I'm just adding up 
the soil that we mixed earlier and quite details about things like this so it can take a while just for me to adding some soil to a plants it's just me I saw a grower is just like pour it and it's done in two seconds but that's not the case with me yeah I just a little bit OCD I guess in this matters It's looking pretty good now so I'm just gonna fix the new growth and make it a little bit nice looking. add some more hem rope I like to use anything that are natural personally I have quite a lot of repotting to do but it's nice I think if it's just me and my plants instead of have to record everything I use this time to be more in the present I hope this video is helpful in any ways and help us to cope with this crazy situation with the COVID-19 here in Bali the streets are very very quiet in general when it used to be very packed in certain area which is kind of nice, but I hope this situation will be passed very, very soon. It's a couple days later, it's looking good. The new growth is start unfurling. This means this plant took the repotting in a very good way. I hope this video helped you in any ways. I know we all going kind of crazy right now but yeah with gardening I think it will be really helpful for us to make the situation feels a little bit better okay guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye